In this video, we're going to learn a couple of important things. First off, we're going to revisit the idea of looking for the clues in the sentence, trying to find out what that blank is about. And so that's really important. Look for those clues. In this sentence, again, we can read it, around the office he had developed a reputation as a blank. From the last video, you should remember that you always have to read the entire sentence because at this point, he could have the reputation as anything. Notice here the hyphen as well. We're going to define what's the reputation. Well, it's defined as this man was a or made exacting demands. People in the office quickly learned what a strict disciplinarian he could be. So now we have the clues. There's two of them. They more or less mean the same thing. Someone is always asking you to do this and they're very disciplined. You must always do it the right way. They're very strict. And so what we can do is we can come up with our own word. Or we also have the option of simply matching. That is matching these keywords or these clues with the answer choices. So we're gonna match them. Why? Well, because you could come up with your own word, but simply you know that the answer choice has to be a synonym for exacting or a strict disciplinarian. So let's just use a disciplinarian. Okay, let's start with A, visionary. Is a visionary a person? who is a strict disciplinarian? The answer is no, they're a person who simply has a vision. So we can get rid of that. Okay, next we have a motivator. Well, a motivator, someone who really pushes you and motivates you and therefore they have to be strict, otherwise you're not gonna be motivated. And, and so there's the answer. But wait a second, this is the GRE. By definition is what we're going for, not could be. For instance, a motivator could be a strict disciplinarian. They could make exacting demands, but by definition, is a motivator one who's a strict disciplinarian? No. So always remember, it's by definition. A surveyor, by definition, what do they do? They survey, they look around, they take note. Are they, by definition, a strict disciplinarian? No. And that takes us then to overseer. Overseer, well, they're looking over and therefore, they're watching and they're making exacting demands. And I guess they're also a strict disciplinarian. But is that by definition? When someone says, oh, the overseer, do you say, oh God, the overseer's coming. He's gonna be so, or she's gonna be so strict and make exacting demands because that's what all overseers do. The answer is no. Maybe the majority of overseers are like that, but we're looking for definition only. But wait a second, I can't just eliminate it because look at E. What, what's that word? Martin? Martinet? Martinet? What does that mean? So it, it must be overseer. But as we remember, or as you should remember, it must be by definition. And we've already eliminated overseer because by definition does not mean a strict disciplinarian. So when you eliminate, do not be afraid to pick the word you don't know. Martinet is the correct answer. And therefore we also, we know what it means. A Martinet is a strict disciplinarian. Now it's actually named after someone who, believe it or not, was named Martinet. And the reason I'm pronouncing it not Martinet, but Martinet as the person is he was a French general in the 19th century. And guess what? He was a strict disciplinarian. But the key here is to make sure that you don't eliminate a word just because you don't know it and that you don't choose a word if, because it kind of works. You choose a word because it definitely works, and if that word happens to be the word you don't know, then that must be the answer. Okay, so let's try that. Let's try using that logic to the sentence, and I will read it. In the last century, the U.S. has truly become a blank nation. Notice the color, we're gonna define what sort of nation. Immigrants from over 100 countries have created a veritable tapestry of languages. So, again, you can try to come up with your own word, or you can here look at the clues. So, here's this tapestry of language. It seems to be a nation of people who speak many languages. And so that's good enough for our own word or own phrase. We want a, a word here that means speaking many languages. Cosmopolitan, maybe you've heard of that word before. It means relating to the big city and sophisticated. So if your friend has moved to New York, and suddenly they've become very cosmopolitan, that's fine. But by definition, does that mean they're suddenly speaking five or six different languages? 
No, they're simply living in the big city. So cosmopolitan doesn't work. By definition, if you were speaking many languages, this is, if a nation has language speakers from over 100 countries, does that make it a dignified nation by definition? Nope. And then what of C, this universal? Universal could work, right? There are people coming from everywhere, so it's a universal nation. But wait a second. We were looking for a tapestry of languages, meaning many, many languages. Universal does not mean that. There's that strange word. What is polyglot? We don't know. So we go to E, which is cherished. Could it become a cherished nation? Well, maybe, because there's so many languages, we cherish it. But by definition, cherished does not mean speaking many languages. Polyglot, on the other hand, does. Notice the root, poly, which means many. Glot, glottis, comes from your throat. So many throated or many tongued, speaking many languages. That, that's how the roots work with polyglot. And now we know a new definition, and therefore that is definitely the answer. So we matched the keywords, we eliminated, and we weren't afraid to pick the word we didn't know, which in this case was polyglot. That doesn't mean that a word that you don't know is always going to be the answer, but that just means that you have to be careful with the other words, make sure they definitely don't work before you pick the word you don't know. And of course, if none of the other words work, the word you don't know is the answer.